Hey guys, it's uh, Marcus here from theviral.com, and uh, it's my first tutorial with the website. I'm pretty stoked on it, and I've gotten a request for this tutorial countless, countless times. And you know, like I was gonna do a rendering tutorial with WMB, and I actually filmed it. And I thought to myself, these people want tutorials that will go on YouTube that have small file size and still powerful looking footage. So I decided, fuck that, I'm going to do a X264 tutorial because it is much, much better quality and it might be a little better work, but it's better quality, it's a way, way smaller file size and once you know it, it's like, it's just you do it and uh, it's really helpful. So. Um, <clears throat> I'll bust open Sony Vegas. And this is a little clip for single edited clips that, I don't know, I I like started working on it and then I, I thought it sucked. And there's like no color or anything on it. Just something small. Oh, ah, yeah, I scrapped it, so I don't even care if I show you guys. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to do, among anything, is select every video on my timeline, which is starting at one side, going to the other side, holding shift. Uh, right clicking switches disable resample and you want to do that with every clip I have a tutorial on that as well you can go watch that and I explain why and more in detail how to do it so uh, we disable resample on all our clips and uh, we're ready to render so we just you know highlight everything go over to our render as button and uh, make a new folder because I love folders call a render. Uh, if you don't know what to render as to do H264, X264, you go to ABI at the bottom and uh, we have sec1 which is single edited clip 1 and we're going to go to custom bring up our little menu. So um, frame size we're going to either use project settings or we're going to go HD720 because HD720 is just kind of the norm. Uh, the frame rate, we're going to either go to 59 frames per second or 29 frames per second. I'm going to say 29 because that's just regular YouTube. Um, if you want to do something with 60 frames per second, say you're going to, I don't know, then go 59, but I'm going to go 29. Uh, field order none, uh, pixel aspect ratio one video format uncompressed. Uh, what that means is there's going to be no compression and uh, the file size is just going to be massive but that's what you want. So uh, we also want to render alpha channel. Uh, I always keep that on on all my uncompressed templates just because if I'm importing this for any reason and do After Effects uh, I want to have an alpha channel and what an alpha channel is is everything on your timeline without a background will be transparent. It's like a rent it's like a mask that you don't have to mask. It's uh pretty neat and once you know how to do that it's simple. Uh it's just just do it up. So audio, we're gonna include audio. And uh it should be set at forty eight, but we're gonna set it down to forty four one hundred. And uh that's just because when you're compressing, it won't read any other sample rate but 44,100. So uh, we're going to go to project, render quality best, and we're just going to render this out. Alright, so my Vegas render is all finished up. Um, we have it here, and I'm going to go open folder, get that base file. There it is, my folder with my sec one. So we have um, this file in the description uh, to download for easy to H264. And um, we're just going to open that up. It's a RAR file. And we have all these files. We're just going to open straight out of the RAR. You want to save this, by the way. Uh, straight out of the RAR is the easy H264, so we're just going to open that. Uh, a lot of people use MeGUI. I've tried Migu, I've used Migu, uh, I just honestly don't see the fucking difference. I don't see any difference at all, and this is just so much easier. 
So our via file, we're going to select, find it in here. See, I love folders because organization is long. Where is it? Uh, here it is. Okay, cool. Sec one. And uh, output file, we are going to output it in the same folder as whatever you want to call it. So sec one. That's single edited clip. Like I said before, check them out. YouTube.com single edited clips. Uh, so we have our video FPS. Like I said before, if you, for some reason, need 59.94 frames per second, go for it. And uh, I'm just going to go with 29, because that's what I set my file to originally. Um, and then we go to preset, and we have all these presets. Um, the extreme plus HD is for a little umph if you want it. Uh, usually I just go with the extreme HD if I'm sending someone a render. Uh, but I'll go with the uh, extreme plus and let's just hit start encoding and it says this may take some time, be patient. If you don't get this far, if you click it and something comes up, it doesn't work or something, backtrack. Uh, I know that happened to me a couple times when I started out. Uh, just backtrack and uh, click OK and then this DOS box will come up. And uh, you can see in here we have press Q to stop encoding. And it's encoding our frames, and we have frame 199, 200, blah, blah, blah. It's going at all this stuff. It should say the frame rate somewhere, in, or the frame size, somewhere around here. Uh, and then it will just start flying all these text up and down this box. Let it do its thing. So we got um completed conversion just popped up. Uh, it only took like a, a minute for me. Uh, if you're doing a large project, then it might take a little longer, and uh, that's fine. Um, so we'll exit out of that, exit out of our H.264, save that. What I do is I have it saved somewhere on the computer. I just bust open Windows, and I type easy H.264, and whenever I need to use it, it just pops up. Sorry, I'm recording, so it's a little slow. But yeah, it will pop up there. Um, and now in our project, or render folder, we have our original footage and we have our new footage and the new footage is one that we're going to want and like you can see here 17.8 megabytes for 24 seconds of HD footage that's awesome <coughs> now you're thinking of the quality probably sucks so let's take a look at the quality actually looks flawless obviously the colors are nothing but uh... everything's really crisp and defined and that's exactly what we want. It's a nice render. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> and then we look at our old file, and uh, it's the same thing, and the size is 2.54 gigabytes. We don't want to keep this on our computer. This is a massive file, and it's only used for, you know, compressing. So we're just going to delete it. Just delete. Yes, and now all we have in our render file is this, this guy right here. We also delete this. Excel file. All right, so uh, we got that, and all right, so we are we are good to go. And um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out the-viral.com if you haven't yet. The forums will be up this Friday. That is. 25th of March 2011 the forums will be up and running and if it's past that date then get your ass over to the v-viral.com smarkers and peace the fuck out